This is going to be my Final Fantasy 15 review. Now, I wanted to wait for the hype to die down a little bit before I actually did this. Why? Because at the time I was playing the game and I had so many people attempting to ruin the game for me to the point where it was just crazy. So, I like to start off by saying, yes, we all waited a long time for 15 to come out. Was it everything we expected it to be? Not really. But I see so many people overhyping the game and then turning around and trying to say that it's the worst Final Fantasy ever or the worst game ever made. Now, I'm going to talk about what kind of keeps this game from being the perfect game. The story, the, the whole game just seemed somewhat rather rushed. And the story just seemed out of, the pacing was a bit off. That was one of the things that really messed the game up. I would have liked to have seen a longer story or hell I even wait would have waited an extra year for them to fully finish that so no it's not the best story that I've ever seen Final Fantasy wise but it was just okay and even though I love the characters I felt like they could have been developed a lot better even Nox didn't really seem to flushed out as a character until late game. It left a lot to be desired. One of the things I absolutely love about this game, probably the thing I love the most about it is the music. And I also love the environment. Graphically, it's a very pleasing game. Many of the monsters felt like actual animals. Yeah, you're prey and your predators that was really cool in a funny way it almost reminded me of like monster hunter or something so that's kind of what you get at it for me I was playing at some point mostly for the trophies and well Trophy wise, this is where I started to experience a lot of disappointment. I was extremely disappointed because some of the things that should have gotten trophies, such as the Podius Temple, are just the actual somewhat difficult things should have taken, should have had trophies for them. The trophy list is very, it, it sucks compared to what it could have been. And because the characters weren't really flushed out well enough, they released this pre-planned DLC for them to have their own stories, which I feel should have been included in the game. And that's what kind of kicked me off a bit. Now, now that we've gotten the story, the character development, and the music out of the way, I wanted to wait a while to talk about this because there have been so many people who've been arguing with me about the combat. And this is actually a perfect time to. Speaking of which, speak, speak of the devil. Now. 
Simplistic. That's what you get out of basic combat. People were being very bitchy when the combat was first introduced. Oh, there's only, you know, circles, the only attack button. You can do other stuff like aerial combat with the swords, but I wasn't expecting some super in depth combat with Final Fantasy. It's a Final Fantasy game. It's not a fighting game. So some of the complaints people had about this just sound very silly to me. That they would be upset about that. If you played any of the older Final Fantasies, it was turn-based. So I thought that was pretty cool to be able to move around and do all of that. They even have a, what, a weight mode. I don't use it, but a weight mode for more or less people like to do a turn-based thing. I thought it was really cool how there was different stuff to do. The hunts I found interesting. But I think people need to lay off with the combat. If you play, if you were playing this just for that, then you kind of cheated yourself. Even though the combat is very important in games such as this, when you're playing a Final Fantasy game or any Square Enix game, you play largely for the story and then the cool combat kind of a secondary thing. So I'm not writing it off by saying, hey, stop complaining. I'm saying, yes, the combat could have been better. And they're actually, every new patch is they've Worked in some new stuff I thought was pretty cool. So they actually have been trying to see what they can implement, what kind of changes stuff they can implement to make that a little bit more fluid. Which brings me to this argument in the middle of the review. I want to talk about this because I'm sure this is going to be mentioned again when the Cydia comes out or in a later video. No Square Enix game I've ever really played has had combat so damn inept to where it was just super complicated. At least none that I can really remember. And I've had people seriously try to argue with me over silly stuff. Such as, oh well, physical attacks are the strongest things in um, a Square Enix game. First off, I don't know what kind of games they've been playing because magic and summons have always been largely overpowered. In fact, if you want to be like God in any Final Fantasy game, master magic. Because it comes a point in time where on summon enemies, that's the only damn thing that works. If you find a way to incorporate that into a physical attack, then you're all squared away and good to go. Now, in every Final Fantasy game, doesn't matter, be it Final Fantasy Online or anything else. Sometimes I have friends that ask me, why do you always go mage? Well, the reason I always go magic anything, blue mage or whatever, anything that has any type of magical property, is because of what I'm about to show you right now. Before this battle starts, this is the build that I personally like to run. This is just a magic damage build. Now I can remove, you can remove the black hood and easily rank it to the 2000 something damage. But I like to, I just like having it because I use the bow. Weapon wise, as far as the best weapon goes, it's really what you prefer to use. My personal favorite weapon is the Bow of the Clever. To me, I think that is the best weapon because it has damage scaling. And if you don't get hit, you can end up doing truck damage as you've previously seen. 
be it a lower enemy or high enemy. Any weapon that I'm about to show that isn't a Royal Arms I like to use is this Wizard Shield. This is one of my Actually, yeah, this is my favorite non royal all weapon to use. It makes pairing fun when you're fighting a stronger enemy. Let's go. Yep, yep. And I just enjoy the way it looks. But if you want to still throw flasks, you can opt to take that off, though. I just only throw a flash when I when I really need it. But any Final Fantasy game doesn't have to be this one. Combat has always been largely OP. In terms of magic. <laughs> Almost got that backwards, but I'm not gonna edit that out. In combat, magic has always been largely OP. Early game, you do the physical things, you don't have much of a choice. And I'm not saying that you can't make a strong build with just physical damage. If I were going to make one, I would make one with the daggers. Or anything that isn't a two-handed weapon. That's how you get more, potentially more bang for your buck. At least... So, in terms of, um, let's say, any older Final Fantasy, you mastered magic, you were practically like a god. That's why I have no idea how the hell anyone could, like, try to argue with, the, with me on this, going, oh, well, physical attacks are so great in, in, in any other Square Enix game. I'll use this example. I remember when I was playing Kingdom Hearts, if you went into wizard role, or doesn't matter which one it is, if you were using magic on most enemies, you could annihilate them. And anything that wasn't immune to magic, yeah, you had your physical attack for that, but magic still reigned supreme. Which is why I always made sure to make sure I had like an endless amount of MP on, on top of all, on top of having some physical damage. I just didn't concern myself greatly with the amount of physical damage I had. It just depends on how you wish to play the game. If I wasn't dealing magic, I was being a summoner. So, back to Final Fantasy. I... In terms of a, a build for damage, I kind of wish I showed you that, but... That's relatively easy too. Just have daggers as a primary weapon because everything else is a little too slow. Let's see, it might go in the right way. Okay, I'm going the right way. So, that's what you get out of this. But in terms of Final Fantasy 15 being a bad game, I can't say that it's a bad game, but I also can't say that it's a great game either. For me, it's just okay. Now, would I drop full price for this game? No. I mean, even including the season pass, this just isn't a game that I really enjoy paying full price for. Graphically, it's about a $60 game, but I felt like it was somewhat rushed and they could have done so much better. But they were given so much time, too. So, can I give this my seal of approval? I'm sorry, but as of now, I just can't. Maybe the multiplayer might impress me to say otherwise, but for now, it's just, I can't do it. And it's kind of funny to me because graphically this game is beautiful to look at. I love just looking at this game, like the environment, the music, 
I can honestly just sit and look and listen. But that's not why people play a Final Fantasy game. You play it for the story and for the badass combat. The rest is just extra. It's almost like they became so concerned with the extras that they forgot about, you know, hey, we the actual content here. I mean, as a multiplayer game, it could potentially be better to travel with your friends beating the shit out of monsters. But I'm even starting to notice complaints about the beta as well. People are going, oh, it's having it's having problems and login issues. Well, yeah, it's a beta. That's why they're testing it out so that the final release doesn't have those problems. Hence why it's a beta. A lot, a lot of people overhyped the, the game and it just risen their expectations to just unrealistic standards. I'm merely mentioning the things that should be complained about. Lack of character development, lack of story. I would like to know more about Luna Freya. My stuff, hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, no need to <laughs> really, really. But combat, not so much of something I can see complaining about. Nor is graphics. I mean, for me, it's on almost on a level like if Final Fantasy VII was. Graphically, I expect the new Final Fantasy 7 to be a better game than this. Even when you play the old one, it has combat wise, it's fun. This is the this is one of the categories of games like this beat is graphics. And while I'm here, I hate how games have become so casual friendly. Because that's one of my main complaints with this game just in a lot of new games it become so casual friendly to the point where it doesn't even reward people that go the extra mile anymore it's like oh you went the extra mile so uh, here you go and they just kind of throw it to you like it's nothing I mean it's so bad to the point where this current build I can't even really die unless I'm trying actually even if I'm trying to it'd be rather difficult And that's one of the things I just complain about because it, sh it really shouldn't be like that. I mean, even with when you change the mode and put it on easy, car having carbuckles save your ass all the time. I mean, what's up with that? There shouldn't be anything to save you like that. You die, you die. I really think this game could have benefited from a hard mode or, or a hell difficulty mode. Because yes, I know there are harder enemies out there to fight that will give you a run for your money. Here's the problem with that. There's no trophy for them and you're not there's no real incentive to go fight them outside of the fact of just doing it just because. And that's the problem. That's that's the main issue with that. I don't think I'll be able to give the game like an accurate rating. I, would, I can't give it a 10 out of 10, but I can't give it a 1 out of 1 either. It just ranges as okay. That's, so I stand on that, so. The sun, the sun will come out and hopefully this game will get some level of lack of redemption through its multiplayer. But at the same time, I just want to just enjoy playing the game. Also, that's one of my favorite monsters down there. I like. Always enjoy that monster from Final Fantasy VII. But yeah, you get you get what you get out of it, and I just wish people had played the game when it first came out instead of trying to find every exploit under the rising sun. That'd have been nice, and the game should have been harder. Trophies could have been better, etc. But it's not the worst game I ever played. 
So I think I've said everything I can think of to say. That's my review on Final Fantasy 15 and everything from this point out right now is going to be kind of kind of bonus. Something I like to say about the combat real quick. I've already talked about it, but something I'd like to say in terms to what special moves you can use. I didn't see much of a reason to even use the, uh, you know, limit break and breaking their limits because it makes a lot more sense to keep Prompto with his gravity ball, have Gladius, you know, do straight up damage when you need to last hit something and then have Overwhelm and then swap that for Enhance. I don't really use any of the others. Because I see no point in using them. So for me, this to me, this is the best build. It's kind of glass cannon. Well, who am I kidding? It's very glass cannon-like. But dodging attacks in this game is really, really easy. It's made even more easy. With all the items and accessories they give you. And this bummed me out. They, they're so willing to give you stuff. Just like, oh, here you're playing the game. Boom, here you go. That that type of thing I didn't care for. So anyway, thank you for watching my video. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks for the ride. And this concludes my review on Final Fantasy 15. Take care, everybody, and peace. Found it. What do you know? It's really real. Well, well, this isn't half bad. Loads better than the heap of junk I was expecting. We can take this, right? We play the game through to the end. I think we've earned it. And that was awesome, folks. Played the game through the end. Treasure hunting's actually kind of fun. When there's actual treasure, at any rate. Wow, that Sylvester guy, though. Sure went to a lot of effort for a game. <laughs> well, 